Hi everyone, I'm Emma Caton and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the news last week it was announced the American bison was to become the first national mammal of the United States and is now up there with the bald eagle, which became an American symbol in 1782. The National Bison Legacy Act was introduced last year and was passed by Congress just last week on the 28th of April. In response to the act being passed, Congressman William Clay said, no other indigenous species tells America's story. And so here is a short history of the American bison and why it has been chosen. Before Europeans settled in America, there was estimated to be up to 30 million bison roaming the Great Plains of North America, and they would travel hundreds of kilometres on migration every single year. The bison were a very important keystone species which had a massive influence on the North American landscape. The lives of many Native American tribes revolved around the bison, and they used pretty much every single part of it. Large parts of the bison were used for food and clothing, but the hair was often used for making accessories such as bracelets, headdresses and ornaments. The bladder was used to make pouches to store food and water. The fat was used to make soap. The tail as an ornament, and the bones were used for a whole range of things such as arrowheads, ornaments, toys, eating utensils, and much more. Essentially, nothing went to waste. The bison had great spiritual and cultural significance to the Native Americans and still does to this day. However, the species declined heavily as European settlers moved westwards across America, and by the end of the 19th century they were nearly wiped out completely. The two main reasons for the decline were, firstly, because there were so many of them, they were considered limitless, and were hunted on a large scale for their tongs, hides and bones. The rest was left to rot. Bison killing contests were very common, with some hunters claiming to have single-handedly shot up to 250 individuals in a single day. Secondly, around the time the American government encouraged the slaughtering of bison as a way to try and break the Native American tribes. Because of this uncontrolled killing and also habitat loss to make way for farmland, just over a thousand individuals remained by the end of the 19th century. It was at this point that pioneering conservationists realised that something had to be done about this shocking decline in number. In the early 20th century, the American Bison Society was founded by the director of the New York Zoological Park at the time, William T. Hornaday, with the support of US President Theodore Roosevelt. Today around 500,000 bison exist in captivity for the meat industry, but 30,000 individuals still exist in the wild. Many things still threaten the bison, including habitat loss, breeding with domestic cattle, a loss in genetic diversity, and the spread of bovine TB. So last week the decision was made to finally recognise the bison as both a conservation success story having been brought back from the brink of extinction, and more importantly, its role in shaping the history of America. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more wildlife related videos, and you can also go and check out my blog and follow me on Twitter. This season of Fluffy Cuteness, here are 25 random facts about rabbits. <laughs>